This video discusses how to use the new GUI enhancements available in IcePack version 15. The GUI enhancements are Show Objects by Material, Show Objects by Property, Show Objects by Type, and Show Metal Fractions. Let's move on to the IcePack GUI. The first new feature I want to talk about is Show Objects by Material. This feature allows you to quickly visualize all the objects inside your model that are made of a certain material. For example, you can show objects made of aluminum, ceramic, silicon, and so on. All the objects made of these materials will light up inside the GUI and you will very quickly be able to visualize if you have specified the right materials. This feature can also help you find a specific object made of a certain material. The next feature is Show Objects by Property. This feature allows you to display the power values of your heat sources. To find the power range, go to the Power and Temperature panel. Here, we can see that the power goes from 0.25 to 2.5 watts. We can specify those as the min and max values. When using these values, you can see the power for all sources is displayed. Notice that sources outside of the power range are clipped out. For example, if we want to change the minimum value to 0.5, sources that have less than 0.5 watts of power will not be shown. The same thing for the high end. We see that 2.5 watt sources disappear once we take the maximum value down to 2. The next new feature we have is Show Objects by Type. This feature allows you to search for any type of object inside your model. You can optionally specify to look for objects that have traces and CAD. If we look for blocks with traces, we see the board light up. Let's look for CAD blocks in the model. In this case, the CAD heatsink lights up inside the GUI. This feature can be used for different types of objects. You can very quickly find fans, grills, packages, or any other type of ice pack object present in your model. This type of visual search can be faster and easier than going through a very big model tree. The last feature I would like to introduce is Show Metal Fractions. Let's look at the board and display the traces just for the top layer. Now let's look at the metal fractions computed for that top layer using the default 200 by 200 resolution. You can see that the metal fractions are not adequately captured inside the fine traces and smaller diameter vias. In order to guarantee that we have at least one cell inside those traces, the number of rows and columns has to be much larger. If we compute the minimum trace width, we find that we need at least 860 rows and 1310 columns. With this new resolution, we can see that the metal fractions inside the traces are adequately captured. If we zoom into an area with small vias, we can see that the metal fractions inside the vias are also fairly well captured. One thing to note is that the grid cut algorithm is multi-threaded in version 15. For modern, multi-core processors, you will see a 5 to 10 times speed up in computing the metal fractions and conductivity vectors compared to version 14.5. In this video, we saw four new features. Show objects by material, show objects by property, show objects by type, and show metal fractions. Please take advantage of these new features in your next ice pack model, and feel free to get in touch with technical support if you have any questions.